So it, the lineage actually is the lineage of Renzai Zen. And uh, Renzai is the Japanese name for a Chinese teacher. His Chinese name is Lin Chi. In the golden age of Zen. Uh, Lin Chi was a very radical teacher. And, um, y you know, a teacher like this that really revolutionizes and reinvigorates the teaching is quite rare. Yes. They only come along when it's necessary to revitalize the teachings. Yes. And often what can happen is each, each kind of generation in the lineage, it dilutes a little bit more rather than gets re-inspired. You've noticed. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> And that's not just true of Zen lineage. Sure, no, yeah. of course. And uh, so my teacher, Junpo Kondo Dennis Kelly Roshi, is such a teacher, right. in my opinion. Yes. Yeah. And we should say, for, for some may have read the book, Heart Blown Open, which Keith Martin Smith wrote about. Yes. Jump Out. It's quite a read. It's a it high, is quite highly, a highly, read. Highly recommend I mean, the book. What a life. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> You should interview him. I'd love to. Although, quite charismatic. Although, 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 although your life is not dull in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's amazing. He, uh, so he, his teacher is Edo Shimano, a, a Japanese Rinzai Zen teacher that brought the teaching to, this country, to, to the West. Mm. Uh, the... Um, the one thing that they seemed to have trouble was Edo would say there is no Zen outside of Japanese culture. And Junpo would say, oh, don't say that. There must be. I'm not Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, what am I doing? <laughs> so Edo's job was to bring Zen to the West. Radical Renzai in-your-face Zen. And Junpo's job was to bring it into Western culture. Right. So Mondo Zen is a modernized version of ancient Zen practice of koan training. Koans are enigmatic questions that the thinking mind can't answer. It's like a young, tender thinking mind trying to think about infinity. Do you know what that feels like? <laughs> I know exactly <laughs> what that feels like. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't like it at the time, I have to say. Well, you're not alone. It's like stretching. Many people don't like it. You yeah. have to stretch it far enough that it ex your head explodes right. or right. comes to a stop. Yes. So that's why traditionally it takes 20 years. And they give you no clues they ask you an enigmatic question and they wait for you to answer and then they ring a bell and they say, go back to the Zendo. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, to the, to the Western mind is, is hugely frustrating, I imagine, and at least initially, because we're used to, especially in a kind of, kind of scientific view of the world, a question's, a question's got B answer. And it's like it's, you ask the question, you get the answer. The fact there's different depth and nuance and different perspective of answer and different location the answer comes from is a frustrating concept. So frustrating that most people leave right. in the West. Right. So Jumpo wanting to revitalize these ancient teachings and bring them into a form that is applicable for this culture, which is his job as a Zen master. It's my job as a Zen master, but Jumpo's done the heavy lifting already. Mondo is a Japanese, it's actually two words. Mon means dialogue. Do means the way, the Tao. That's really beautiful. Yeah. So, so it's the way of dialogue yes. between two Buddhas. Yes. One of us realizes we're a Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> and the other would like to be a Buddha. <laughs> well, so, so the one that realizes a Buddha, and you never quite know which one it is. <laughs> That's great. That one will transmit this mind to the other one. And the other one receives it. And you can just see the lights go on, mm. the lamp get lit. Yes. And you know how you see it? The eyes sparkle. <laughs> That's so nice.